Hello everybody, this is Drew Nolan, the uh, one and only fractured puppet mind himself. Um, I wanted to share a video of you that I didn't think I could uh, really finish because um, I did all this footage a few years ago and uh, I thought I had lost it. But uh, it was stored on a computer and unfortunately the audio for it uh, degraded and I couldn't retrieve it. So I'm going to try to walk you through this video right here doing a little something different today. So I hope you'll enjoy this as I bring to you what I like to call a mermaid's tale. I hope you like it. Now this was made for a blacklight show that I did with Omaimio Mime Troop. Uh, I love them to pieces and they are a wonderful wonderful troop. So, uh, so yes. Oh, here we go. All right. Now, what you see me doing right here is uh, I'm using a substance called Veriform. Veriform is a heat-sensitive material. It's a mesh, a plastic mesh, um, and you can do this right from your own uh, kitchen. Uh, all you need is a pot that you don't mind, uh, you know, pretty much ruining because you can't cook with it anymore. But you dip the pieces of Veriform into the pot, or you can use... Uh, a steamer, an industrial steamer to help uh, warm it up. And what you see here is I chose a kitty litter um, container because it's a very hard plastic. And um, after heating it up, you see me rubbing the, uh, the edges into each other because it will stick to itself very hard um, and very well. And once it dries, it is super strong, super strong. So if you have the opportunity to practice with it, I highly encourage it. Um, but again, it's really, really heat sensitive. You got to be very careful. You got to use a lot of layers. It can be cut with regular scissors. Um, just put it into shapes, as you can see. Um, when I'm doing that there, I got to boil it again, make sure it gets nice and uh, loose and flimsy. And then you just uh, softly kind of rub it into uh, the other layers and it will hold beautifully, beautifully. And it's tremendously light as well. It's a fantastic, fantastic sort of um, material. It's a little expensive, but I think it far exceeds uh, expectations if you get a chance to use it. Now, the reason I chose the kitty litter container is because it's hard plastic, but as you can see, the Veriform doesn't completely adhere to it. Veriform kind of has a sticky residue if you do it on certain things. Um, and this particular material. I had to make three different segments for this particular mermaid tail. And up, oh, there you go. There's the uh, there's the, cont the container. Um, yes, I'm just doing a little bit explaining. Man, I love to talk, don't I? I'm sorry about that. I'm sorry that I have to do that in a lot of my videos. Uh, but at any rate, uh, wow, look how young I was. This was several years ago. Uh, <laughs> this, was, this was pretty interesting. Um... So, yes, so I highly encourage you to do all this. And you might have noticed that little uh, flange that I left down at the bottom of it. Um, that one was because that's where I needed to connect the tail, the actual mermaid tail, the bottom of the tail. So, uh, yes, um, and once you get all the segments together, up ah, there we go. You cover it and um, you connect it. And since this was a blacklight show, I covered it with that uh, fluorescent green. And there it's what it looked like on the back. Now the top two segments I actually molded off of a young actress who was playing the mermaid. Her name is Katie Matter, brilliant dancer and uh, just an all-around great person. Uh, that took a little bit of time, but we were safe uh, just to do the heat-sensitive thing on her. Um, I just wanted to make sure it fit. It really needed to fit to look good with her with her overall body shape. So, um, so yes, and I connected the segments. The, um, I'm going to show you in just a moment how I got those little uh, fin-looking things on top of the Veriform. But i got to take this out of my kitchen now to another place uh, where I was putting everything together. So, yeah. Uh, I'm just getting more pieces ready. Yep. And, oh yes, one important thing, as you can see right here. Uh, you got... Um, during the process, you, around those edges, you really need to roll them up because Veriform, when it hardens, it's very jagged. It's very sharp to the point that it could be very dangerous. So at this point right here, what I'm doing is I, I'm getting a little bit more uh, uh, pliable. 
and I'm taking the edges and I'm rolling them under and sealing them so it's nice, smooth, so it doesn't hurt anybody when you're taking it on and off. Uh, a simple precaution, but a necessary one, simply because it's just one of those things you have to do when working with the medium. Uh, but, uh, but yeah, it does get a little time intensive. I know, I know it does get time intensive, but trust me, you or the performer will work. And you can see that little flange at the bottom. I'm not doing anything with it because I'm going to roll the, a foam tail piece, um, on that. But, uh, every edge needs to be closed. It really, really does. Especially if you're, um, covering it with fabric, uh, so that it doesn't shred the fabric. absolutely uncanny so okay you see this the back and there oh right there I've used the material almost like felt it's kind of a liner foam but I just cut that out and I hot glued the edges around the edges that we just uh, did and there's the little flange which I'm pointing out where the tail is going to go uh, I tend to talk too much in these videos when I'm actually doing them I have a lot to say so please forgive me uh, and it cuts to the next one here we go slow fade and there's the tail. I've connected it. Uh, I'm going to mount a whole bunch of other stuff on it. And that's the lower part that I've been cooking pretty much through this whole video. Um, and yes, here's another really important part. Once I get everything covered, I connect everything really intricately by interlacing elastic uh, thread, elastic line, um, as opposed to anything else because it's flexible. It you know will really help. And I connected a belt to go around the waist. Since it's a black light show, had to put some black velvet on it so it would disappear. Uh, and it looks, uh, and there, right there, that's, I mean, that's the whole length of it. That's the length of a dancer's lower body. So, yeah. So, yeah, that was it. Uh, unfortunately, if you want to see the finished product, you got to hit Omimeo Mime Troop and watch their production of Black Light Magic here in Charlotte. We do it every year or so. So um, I hope you learned a little something, and uh, thank you for watching my video. Uh, my name is Drew Nolan. I'm with Fractured Puppet Minds, and I hope you will be back. If you liked it, subscribe. Come on back. Otherwise, have a great time, and keep everything imaginative, and keep creating. See you later.